Taking me through it. Jesus. They're just not listening. Like, they just think they live in a hotel and everything's okay. How they graduate, they think they don't have nothing else to oh, do. Yeah. 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 I told my middle son, I said, you need to go to church. He said, you go to your Mr. Fred or come here. He's like, I don't have to go to church. I make up my own mind. So I can pray about him because I don't know what's in his mind yeah. right now. It'll be three years next Friday, my husband passed away. So he's still grieving over my husband. And I'm still grieving too because I still ain't met nobody right. But if I don't, that's okay too. Amen. I just. I want to ask God to pray for my nephew to be released and bless his liver because he's so young. Yes. And bless my relationship with my daughter. I keep reaching out to her. No response. She thinks money is better than mother. So that's evil thinking, but I just leave it in the hand of God. Yes, Lord. Right. And I bless, I keep, people call me, they like talking to me. And I have friends that are still drug addicts and they're still out there and they call me to talk to me. And I'd be like, I can't lecture you to put that down or. Now, like that, I could just give you encouraging words and, like, you hurting yourself, you know, you want to talk about it. So I don't judge nobody what they do and how they do it because everybody got to get judged before God. I do things I ain't supposed to be doing, but I'm still here praising God because that's me and yeah. my business and between me and my God. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes the spirit don't hit me like everybody else did when they're singing a church song. There's only certain songs that hit me and my heart, but I know my relationship okay. with me and my okay. God. Okay. And my kids say, he brought me this far. And those snares I hear in my block, you know. It's hard raising teenage kids being yes. a single parent trying to hold it down. Yes. Yes. And yes. then I hear all that negative, who she thinks she is? How she making this? How she doing that? You know what? Stop and ask somebody, God's doing it. Yes. I'm putting yes. my faith in him. Okay. You know? Yes. Because before I had less, now I have plenty. Thank you, Lord. And I just different things, you know, go on in my life and I be like, how is this to be? And and I go to take care of people and look at their lifestyle and some of them only know the Lord. Like, I be asking them, they're like, what? And then I like, I know I shouldn't question God, but then I see people that got plenty don't got a care in the world. We get them Mercedes, their little Lexus, they got money, they go on their vacation, they ain't thinking about God. But I'm glad that my family raised me. Amen. And the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Even though when I didn't want to be there, but one time I, I'm going to tell you this story and I'm leaving off this. <laughs> I was like seven years old, and the community, everybody knew everybody's child. So my grandma gave me some money and told me to go to Sunday school. So I go out the back door, up the street, and around the corner. So I doubled back. I went to the store. So the man in the store called my grandma and said, ain't Debbie supposed to be in church? And she said, yeah. 
So when I got home, I told my grandma I went to church. She said, you're lying. Where's the candy at? <laughs> you spent it on candy, right? So I got tore up that day. I will never forget that day. I never did that ever again. But um, I don't really like talking anymore because my emotions is going every which way and trying to guide my kids and try to get them in college, try to get them a job. It's just rough for me. And then, you know, it makes me want to say, both of y'all leave. You know, I got anger in me because I got to know with him, my son, that can't talk. And I can't trust people around him because you don't know who does what anymore. Amen. You don't know what's Amen. going on. And Amen. All you can say hi to your neighbor. You don't know what they doing or whatever and yeah. how could I trust so I have to leave in the hands of God to help me raise this boy yeah. you know but that's all I have to share today and um, I wasn't going to come I was going to stay home and lay on my couch Thank you, Jesus. and watch TV but I know there's somebody greater that I have to praise to right. the place right. where I need to be and where he's going to take me yes. so I do pray because because I don't go to church. Like I told my neighbor, just because I don't go to church don't mean I don't get on my knees and pray to the Holy Father because you don't know what's Amen. going on in my life. Yes. You know? And I've been telling people, I'm blessed by the best. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. In different right. circumstances. And my weight been coming down. You know, Hallelujah. sometimes you got to, like, your mental status of eating, you got to, like, Pull back, yeah. hold up. You want to live, you got to slow it down yeah. and yeah. not eat so much. And that's what I was doing, you know. Thank you, Jesus. And turn I go swimming. I stay in the water, man. Watch I stay in the water. I do a couple laps. Thank you. That's all right. That's, I'm getting off of here. <laughs> <laughs>